Good morning guys. Today is August 7th, but this will be vlogist number 6 because I fell behind. And I numbered the videos, not the, as the dates, if that makes sense. I am currently got vlogist number 5, uh, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, uploading <laughs> on there. I'm a little late because it's like, it's a little after 11 today. Jesse's in there playing a game on the TV. I gotta water the plants. I think I might have a couple of cucumbers I can pick today. Yeah, it rained really bad. It stormed really bad last night. Like, I was scared for a moment that it might be tornado weather. <laughs> I was going to, it was like 10 o'clock at night. It always storms at night here, which I hate. I guess it's just where we live. But I went, um, out, so we were just sitting there watching TV, me and Jesse, at 9 something. And, um, nothing was happening. And all of a sudden, like, crazy winds just started. I just heard my wind chimes going crazy, and I could hear it hitting the side of the house. So I opened the door and the wind was blowing like crazy and <laughs> it wasn't raining or thundering or anything. So I was like, I instantly thought, I was like, oh God, there's a tornado coming because, you know, you always hear that when tornadoes are around, like they just happen. They don't have like storms before them or during them, you know, it doesn't rain and all that. Hang on, I'll close hangers right there until they with them later. But, um, so I kept, um, I looked up the weather because we don't have like TV service. We need, I'm planning on getting that next year. Um. After we get some of our bills taken care of, I want to get at least basic cable or one of those little satellites you put in the window. Not satellites, antennas. I need to look at those. I should have looked at that at Walmart. I just got back from Walmart. <laughs> but I just want local channels so that we can watch weather when it's like happening and not trying to find it online. Anyways, uh, I messaged my mom because she usually watches the weather for us. She lives like seven minutes away from me. So when it storms, she usually watches the weather and um, keeps eye on it for us and lets us know if anything bad's about to happen. But um, she's sick. She's got like an upper respiratory tract infection. So I didn't want to bother her too much. But um, she said it was just thunderstorms. And I just kept watching because it just got really weird outside. But yeah. So me and Jesse's already been out and about today. I had to go to the post office to pick up a package Devin ordered. I um, went to Walmart because I thought I needed garbage bags. I couldn't find the box of garbage bags anywhere. And then when I got home and put my garbage bags that I just bought up, I found the other box. And I think what happened... Last week when I brought groceries home, Devin put them away for me because I had to leave immediately and go do something. And he, you know, he doesn't know where I put everything. <laughs> so he put them in the wrong spot. And when I found them, I was like, well, now we have a lot of garbage bags. But, um, interesting. So I know I got a new bag of chips. I never had these ones before. Me and Jesse love barbecue chips. And this one is sweet. Southern Heat barbecue. So I hope that's good. He may not like it if it's too hot. But also, y'all know I've been talking about pork, or not pork roasts I've been wanting to get I got a pork loin today one of these flavored ones Caroli I don't know how to say that <laughs> Caroli flavored and it's just a pork loin it was only like almost seven dollars that's the closest thing I get to uh, beef or um, roast beef <laughs> I want to make a pot roast in the crock pot but I can't afford it <laughs> Jesse's hollering for me I gotta go see what he wants Hey guys, I'm back again. <laughs> um, Jesse's in there playing a game. We just downloaded a new game on the Xbox. I'm trying to find a, a more kid-friendly game for him on the Xbox because um, all of our games are like a little too hard for him. He does play Spyro and uh, Minecraft, but he needs a lot of help sometimes. So I'm, uh, we trying to find some more uh, little games that he can play. Anyways, I was sitting there watching. Um, a movie called Copycat. It's like about it's got Sigourney Weaver in it, and it's from the 90s, I think, uh, about serial killers. But uh, I was also what crocheting. <laughs> I'm working on this little ghost. It's blown out because it's white. But yeah, so I just I gotta close it and um, you know stuff it first. But I think it's cute. The pattern. I can't remember the pattern name because <laughs> I just found it and started doing it. I didn't even like read the website or nothing. But um. The pattern is like a girl ghost. They give it eyelashes and has a little bow and stuff. But I didn't have a bow. And I didn't want to do eyelashes because I'm really bad at embroidering them. So I'm just making like a generic ghost. And I thought it would be cute to make a couple of these for the craft fair. It's a really simple pattern. Starting it kind of sucks because it's like three single crochet up here. And it's hard to work in, you know, small amounts like that. But it turned out super duper cute. I just made the ruffle. I gotta go help him. Needed a little help. Um, you can jump. 
well play it, okay? Mommy's gonna cook. I'm about to start this for dinner. I've never cooked one of these pre-seasoned ones, so uh, I think it's just in the oven. 20 to 30 minutes per pound. How many pounds are you? Um, 2.1 pounds. So it'll take about maybe an hour to cook. Blah, blah, blah. Remove them on the stand for several months. Oh, so it's really generic. <laughs> I'm going to cook this and, um, that's that word I could say earlier. I always forget how to pronounce that. But I'm going to cook that and probably some potatoes with it. And this should be enough to do us maybe, you know, dinner tonight and then, like, lunch tomorrow. Uh, because I know Jesse won't eat none of this. <laughs> I'll have to make him something different because he's not into this kind of stuff yet. Which is fine, but I hope this is good. It looks like it's good. I'm going to open it and smell it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to peel some potatoes. I'm just going to fry some potatoes on the stove because I don't feel like roasting them tonight. <laughs> It'll take too long, and I don't really want to make potato wedges or anything like that. So, today is Wednesday. Tomorrow, I gotta go grocery shopping. I gotta pay the light bill, which is all the way on the other side of town. It doesn't make any sense. There are three light um, companies in our town, and ours is the one that's the furthest away from us. I think that's so weird. You would think it'd be the one that's closest to us. Whatever. <laughs> I gotta pay that tomorrow. What else do I gotta do? Uh, all the other bills that are due tomorrow can be paid online. So that's good. <laughs> um, get groceries. I might take Jesse to the splash pad in the morning. Devin has to work over at work um, tonight and Friday night. So that means he'll be sleeping in. He's sleeping today. He'll sleep in tomorrow and he'll sleep in uh, Friday, uh, so that he can catch up on sleep, you know, from having to stay at work extra hours, but, um, so we'll have more time to spend out about, so in the morning what I might do is go take Jesse to the splash pad for an hour or so, and then clean, you know, get him cleaned up at the park, and, um, then go grocery shopping and then come home, maybe. Depends on if it's storming. It's been kind of gloomy since yesterday, so I may not be able to take it to splash pad. I may just have to skip that step. <laughs> I, uh, I think I talked about it yesterday. I have a bunch of bags already cut and ready to be sewn. I just haven't sat down and started sewing them yet. My goal is to get them done and up Monday. So uh, I'll be working on them probably tomorrow. I'll start working on them, and then that would give me Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to get them all done which I probably won't need that many days but I may not work on them a whole lot every day I mean just a little bit I like doing my bags in a, in a assembly line fashion I do one step to each bag you know one step to all the bags and then the second step to all the bags just to try to get them all done at the same time and that seems to work best for me these potatoes are hard to peel because they're really small <laughs> but um yeah, so far we don't have any plans this weekend. Because I don't know if Devin's going to be working or not. So, probably going to be another boring regular week here. Just a lot of sewing and hopefully a lot of crochet. And yeah, I got get I got a whole list of things I need to get done before the end of August. My pattern is out being tested right now. I've got five testers so that's cool hopefully uh, they won't find too many issues <laughs> I already got a little bit of feedback from one of them about um, a certain step that I need to add photos to help explain to people who uh, aren't seasoned I am a groom makers <laughs> and yeah so I guess that's everything I'm going to finish up getting these potatoes ready that does smell good by the way it actually smells super familiar so I'm sure it's going to taste really good. Are you stuck? Yeah, I can. I think you can. Try. <laughs> Get me strong. <laughs> Come forward. 
<laughs> you can do it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You did it, silly. They're all out of water. <laughs> you are so silly. That's me. Yeah. Why? What are you doing? I'm trying to stop me. <laughs> You are so weird. Jeez, I help. I did it. I finished two of them. I made a white one, and this is a Red Heart Super Silver Glow Worm. It's like a really neon green. They're so cute. And I got these little things on top of their heads. They're so cute. This is such an easy pattern. There's no sewing on this pattern either. This part is built onto it. And the bottom is just decreased clothes. Super easy pattern. Thank you.